A plaintiff may seek to hold a corporation's shareholders personally liable for the corporation's actions through the doctrine of piercing the corporate veil. Additionally, this doctrine isn't limited to suits against shareholders. Courts may also apply the doctrine to hold a parent corporation liable for its subsidiary's conduct. In the 1995 case In Re Silicon Gel Breast Implants Products Liability Litigation, a federal district court in Alabama considered whether it could pierce the corporate veil to hold a parent corporation liable for its subsidiary's conduct. Medical Engineering Corporation, or MEC, was a privately held corporation that manufactured a variety of medical and plastic surgery devices, including breast implants. Bristol Myers Squibb is a publicly traded global biopharmaceutical company that delivers medical devices to patients. In 1982, Bristol purchased MEC's stock through a series of mergers and reorganizations. Following the purchase, MEC became a wholly owned subsidiary of Bristol. MEC's board of directors were comprised of three individuals, including Bristol's vice president, another Bristol executive, and MEC's president. In addition, because MEC's board was dominated by Bristol officers, Bristol had to authorize hiring and compensation decisions for MEC. Bristol also provided various services to MEC, including marketing and testing services for its products. In 1988, Bristol sought to expand its breast implant business by acquiring two other breast implant manufacturers. In conducting a due diligence review for the potential acquisitions, Bristol and MEC learned of potential hazards and possible liability arising from polyurethane-coated breast implants, which it sold. Three years later, Bristol suspended MEC's sale of all polyurethane breast implants and eventually sold all of MEC's assets to another company. Subsequently, a woman injured by the polyurethane breast implants brought a products liability action against Bristol and MEC in the United States District Court for the Northern District of Alabama. In her complaint, the woman asked the court to pierce the corporate veil to hold Bristol liable for MEC's conduct in manufacturing and selling the defective breast implants. In response, Bristol moved for summary judgment, arguing that it never itself manufactured or distributed the breast implants and therefore couldn't be held liable for MEC's actions as a matter of law.